previously on the Lineage of Moonrange. We talked with our Dildy friend, and he told us that there were apparently explosions around our town, and so I used my handy dandy shadow and had him kind of sniff our way for an explosion, led us to Let's Basement. Let was dead. That was disappointing. And um, we ended up finding a goopy dude and some culty lich people. It was a disaster. I'm still really upset about it. But um, yeah, so we killed them. Bob guy's all done. And then we heard an explosion outside. So obviously this is going really well right now. The D20 Syndicate presents The Lineage of Moonreach. All right, welcome to the D20 Syndicate Podcast. A (laughs) D&D actual play 5e podcast where five nerds. Do not shit. lovable. <laughs> not lovable. We're not lovable then. anymore. We we got a lot of messages. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> saying you're lovable. <laughs> so many messages. A lot of assumptions were made on our part, and I apologize for that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so yeah, each week we play and uh, we record it for your listening pleasure, um, and we go on adventures so you don't have to. I am your host, but and, you can if you want to. I mean, yeah, you could st- you could still do it. Nobody's stopping you guys. Jesus, fuck. But you could also listen to us while you go. <laughs> Go on adventure, you can so. adventure if you want to. You can leave Leave's your friends behind. behind. But it's more fun I if you play with your friends. <laughs> 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 yes, don't split the party up. Um, I am your host and DM, Seth. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. Injecting some drama into the podcast. <laughs> I'm your host and DM, Seth. And around the table, we have our players. I'm Tomas and I play Toma. I am Elijah. And I play her stag. I'm Lindsay, and I play Penguin. And I'm Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> and I play Gorbel. That's right, folks. <laughs> this is how we talk now. Welcome to the podcast. Get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. But yeah, so this is what we do. Um, so now, guys... Please become patrons or a Patreon. Please do that. Um, uh, add us on social media at D20 underscore syndicate on Twitter at D20 syndicate on Instagram. Check out our Facebook. Check out our website. Who gives a shit? I do. Please do it. And if you can't <laughs> afford to be a patron, make your friend do it or something. Yeah. Trick him. Be like, dude, I need five dollars right now. So bad. But please donate it through this Patreon site. <laughs> Yeah, even Tricked. one dollar gets you fun stuff. So yeah, even a dollar will give you we'll fucking. I don't know what it is. I think it's the shout out, right? Yeah, you get a shout out. Yeah, that's super fun. If you want to hear your name said, because we're not going to say you guys' names anymore without you paying. So if you want to hear your name, you better pay. Or if you give a review, I guess. Yeah, if you give a review, we'll have to. I guess technically. <laughs> But it's it won't like, be a shout out. Yeah. No, it'll be like, <laughs> we'll mumble the name. This one comes from. <laughs> <laughs> and this person says. <laughs> By that, we could just literally make up reviews then. And yeah, like, that's you know, true. We could be from making from up reviews anyway. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Chris man, Jung, do that's that. totally a made up name. <laughs> <laughs> no shout outs. No last name. <laughs> he left it. That is true. That His fake person left it. Chris Hong. Man, there'd be some good names like that we could come up with. Selena Gomez. <laughs> she loves us. Oh my god. We're gonna get does so she? sued. So <laughs> good Weathersby. <laughs> um, Michael McMichael. Sin. Tin. <laughs> Sin Tin. <laughs> Michael McMichael Sin Tin. <laughs> Which was actually Michaela's birth name, so. <laughs> <laughs> then they found out I was a girl. <laughs> no. Wait, there ain't no peep on this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Throw an A on it, it'll be good. Hey, <laughs> Michaela A. Michael A. Michael A. <laughs> now everybody knows how to spell your name. Good. <laughs> I mean, it's in the <laughs> description. That's true. Your full name and 
social security number. What about address? Nah, I left that out. Come on, I want them to know how to find me. <laughs> All right, so let's just jump right in with folks. This is how I talk now. <laughs> from drama to this. Taking I mean, a hard right turn drama. from that explosion in the last episode. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, you guys are looking over. <laughs> Loud ass explosion, you guys are down here, and you're just like, what the hell? I don't even know. This thing is getting so crazy right now. And you guys are like, Penguin's like, I'm going to get my I'm gonna get my arrow. Mm-hmm. And Tomar's like, yeah, yeah, I chopped the dude. <laughs> well, this is obviously the Thursday episode. <laughs> He's just diffusing the tension because Let is dead as fuck. Yeah, Let mm-hmm. died, guys. We don't have to keep talking about it. <laughs> Let's drop it, shall we? <laughs> oh, let's do the damn thing, guys. Okay, loud explosion. Let me start the tamer. Really quick, I'm going to retrieve my mage hand and my arrow. Okay. And have it come back to me. You have your arrow back. Ah. <sighs> so, th- so back? this is. I got one win today. This is kind of awkward. <laughs> We don't have a lot of time. Yeah. We don't want to carry Let's Body up right now, right? I know what we can do. I can. Wait, you to go. Go. You can what? Could you guys, like, go upstairs and I'll meet you up there in, like, what a second? What are you going to do? Wait, what? <laughs> you going to dimension door? I'm going to take one of his fingers. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? So I can revive him later. Okay, no, I'm just gonna use Dimension Door and me and Let will just go upstairs. Okay. Wait, and then... Why? What do you mean, why? You're don't, gonna use a whole spell. Don't waste your spells. Um. He wanted... His last wish was he wants his brother to get his body. Herstag's gonna bring him back to life. I'm gonna bring him back to life. I guess. That's better than having his body. <laughs> <laughs> That's having his brother. Um, All right, so I'm I just gonna walk go, over to his body. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to try and investigate where the sound came from, the explosion. I'm looking kind of apologetically. I'll like, follow Tomar. Like maybe they shouldn't watch. <laughs> do you just want me to do it? I mean, if you feel comfortable with it. I just figure you had, you're really good friends or something. I feel like I should do it. Go for it. I step away. I'll just fucking do it. He wakes up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not you, go bow. I take you out. Let me. I take out my sword. Okay. Not my wolf blood blade. Which blade then? Oh god. My witch blade. Just my. I'm take, can I do it with my rapier? I mean, mm. you can stab it off. <laughs> just well, I think actual bunch. rapiers have a thin. It's a thin blade. In my head, that's and it's not like a rapier for fencing. Yeah, I think it, actual you should rapiers, be able to slice yeah, it. You should be able to do it. It's sharp. Okay. I'm gonna watch. Right. Okay. Herstag, you weird fuck. I'm sorry, buddy. But this is so we can get you back. And you, and now you've got his little finger. Is this the one you wanted? That one won't work. That'll, that'll <laughs> yeah. do. That'll do. <laughs> you got just the wrong any finger. body part. There you go. Put it in my pocket. Would hair work? No. That'd <laughs> <laughs> be super fucked up. If it did. Yeah. <laughs> and I just go pull. I, actually, I needed a hair. <laughs> um. And I take my bottle of his alcohol that he made. mm Hmm. And I pour just a little bit out onto the floor. Okay. And then kiss my two fingers, lift them up to the sky. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. All right. Now you guys are heading up. Tomar, you're the first to crest uh, into the upstairs. And um, you don't see anything amiss inside of the um, manor itself. But now you can hear a clamor outside. It sounds like a lot of voices. I, w- I was going to go out. Okay, gotcha. So you go outside and you can see, even from the, from this raised position, just outside of the front door, you can see a few people like running down the street towards the docks. Do I see smoke billowing? Or? Uh, you, If you were to step out a little bit, it, you can kind of see smoke coming up from the direction of the docks. And I think to everyone, I think it came from the docks. Maybe it was the boat. Oh, man. Hopefully they got it offshore. Did I catch up to Tomar now? Yes, you guys are all upstairs now. 
All right. Okay, to the docks. Well, we have two gnome guys still in the building. We do? Yeah. Why do you have them in the building? Looking for bombs. Did they find bombs? I don't know. I haven't seen them. Gnome guys! You don't hear anything. How do we do this? Let's worry about it later. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Is it prestidigitation that makes noise? Yeah. Okay. I'll just, like, amplify my voice like it's a one of the loudspeaker phone things. Okay. Hey, gnome guys! Come downstairs! You don't hear anything. I think your gnome guys died. What? They're not coming. That was so loud. We'll put a pin in that. When? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem like a win. Um. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well. Where's Herstag? He needs to hurry up. Herstag, you finally come out. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring him back? No, I, I have to uh, sleep, like like I said earlier. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you always seem so tired. You just keep having me use all these Should fancy we go to spells. the docks? Yeah, we yeah. should go to the docks. Okay. Okay, so you guys start <laughs> running towards the docks. <laughs> and you, you guys head down, and you can see that there is a crowd of people... Um, but rather than, so you see that, okay, let me back up a sec. You see about mm, probably a hundred feet away from the docks, that ship has moved out there and it has exploded. There's smoke and fire on it. And you can see that there's a boat coming back from the, from the ship. And it's hard to see who's on it, but you can see a few figure, figures on it heading back towards the docks. On the docks themselves, though, are several soldiers that in a, in raiments that you don't recognize that have had drawn weapons and are fighting but you see that the townspeople are fighting them back and there's only a few of them there's maybe like 10 of these soldiers but most of your townspeople are fighting them and like very quickly you watch as like like Brom and Zyko and Nugget and some of the others are all they start like whacking into them and like kill them. I thought they took all of these soldiers to the prison. Maybe a few other questions would be in order in character. Well, they're in the middle of fighting. I think yeah. that would be inappropriate but to not be for, like, excuse me, who are you? But but <laughs> not for very long. Zyko specifically takes down three or four of these guys very easily and Brom and Nugget are able to take down a few more top three but the uh <laughs> but um he's a boy but yeah the the rest of the townsfolk easily take these guys over and uh there's one that it, like brahm is able to subdue without killing and he grabs him roughly behind the um like pins his arms behind his back and you can see him knock him to the ground and put a boot on his face and uh as you guys approach the docks and uh everybody's like like looks really like worried and stuff like they're they're like oh, oh what's 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 going on like what 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 happened why did why did what 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 was going on and you guys approach who the fuck are these guys um and uh brahm kind of straightens his back they were uh they they were hiding in the ship um we found them pulled them out and uh somehow they were able to take a few of uh, gods out and you can see there's a couple of dead soldiers lying on the dock um, two of them, and, um, and he's like, but uh, we sent uh, some soldiers in there, and it looks like they're coming back now. They went to sink the boat. Um, we found an explosive device on the, uh, on the boat itself, and you can see that there's three soldiers coming back on a rowboat. You recognize them. They're definitely um, <clears throat> Wolves Rest soldiers. Okay. All right, well. do you think we can finish this off? Uh, f finish, finish what th this man right here. Bring him to the cell. Aren't there a quick. few more? No, they're, they're all still dead. fighting. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, they very, yeah, very oh, okay. quickly. Oh, okay. 
You see uh, Zyko looks over at you guys. He's got, like, blood on him, and he smiles and waves. Hi, guys. How you Hi, feeling, Zyko? Zyko? Um, I'm all right. You don't feel funny at all? No, should I? I got a burn like you now. Hey, Pinwin, we match. We're burn twinsies. Buddies. Oh, my God, side note, do you actually have a burn on your arm? Oh, yeah, from before, from both of them, I was really mad when I started the AIP, and I'm like, how am I going to do this? When I was putting stuff in the oven, and I burned, wasn't paying attention, burned the tops. How? Yeah. How did you get two identical burns on I both I apparently your was super parallel with how I did that, and uh, yeah, rolled 20 on they, something. It can one. definitely happen, yeah. It was sad and frustrating, but I had really good food from it. Okay. I was mad. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so Zyko stands there proudly with his halberd and his armor on. Do you know where Durant is? Uh, I, I haven't seen him. No, um, uh, no, no idea. Oh. All right, Brom, bring this guy with us to the cells. You've got it. And he ru- like pulls him up and he punches him once in the back of the head. Yeah. <laughs> and he, like starts going the guy's like lolling a little bit he's a human guy and he, he's kind of lolling and he very roughly kind of drags him to the to the uh the jail everyone back to your houses for now uh we're still trying to figure this out everybody's like mm-hmm. you hear like a lot of grumbles like people seem a little worried you hear what i said <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you trying to intimidate them or persuade them? No, I, I wasn't. <laughs> Everyone just go back to your homes for the time being. Just settle down. You'll be safe there while we get this resolved. You see like some like worried looks, but everybody sort of like grumbles. And, mm, mm, okay. and they, everyone starts to slowly, very slowly disperse. You do see some people that are still hanging out around the docks, though. Oh my god, what did I fucking say? (laughs) 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 They take off. Jesus Christ, like these people act like they're not fucking outlaws. Like (laughs) sometimes you have to do some stuff you don't want to do. Go home. (laughs) (laughs) Way to take command, uh, Gorbel of your of your town. Take inspiration. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> and another thing. DM. <laughs> Fuck you. Killing NPCs. <laughs> All right, so we go to the cells. Okay. There are they're packed with uh, like at least three to a cell in and there. And then Deal Dan's in there. <laughs> yeah, Deal Dan, Deal Dan's in there. Like oh, wait, looking. No, I or no, we took no. him with us. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, he didn't do anything while yeah. we were there. So. He would have been tucked behind you guys the whole time. Cool. What a little asshole. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the back room where we had her stag before. Interrogation okay. station? <laughs> hey, oh, her stag, do you remember Inter- this? I do. I do. Are we doing bag Good times. <laughs> That's like how we met. <laughs> oh, the memories. <laughs> to be young again. Now you got to be a bag cop with us. So you guys, are you taking this guy that he's got? Brom. Yes. Who's the highest ranking person here? Uh, well, if we look at uh, the way their uniforms go, I'd say it's that one. And he points to a guy tr- trying to look inconspicuous in the back of one of the cells. Bring him to the room. You've got it, Gorbel. And he, <laughs> he nods to one of the guards, and he the guard pulls his sword out and starts to advance on the cell. And the, arm, like, the soldiers without their armaments kind of back away and... He unlocks it, and Brom steps in with his uh, his hand on a uh, dagger at his side. And um, Brom kind of shoves the soldiers aside, and he points to the guy in the back. You, come with. <laughs> and the guy, like, looks up. He's this half-elf guy, and he looks really nervous. And he looks down at his his insignia on his shoulder, indicating that he's a, he's a sergeant. And he... <sighs> I really should have removed that. <laughs> and he stands up and Brom grabs him by the shoulder. Are you going to go quietly? He said, yeah. He punches him anyway. <laughs> he shoves him forward. And you guys shove both of those soldiers into the back room. The interrogation station. Yeah. You can have five experience because I liked it. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so they're just, you're going to, what are you going to do with them in here? Interrogate. You know, what the name implies. All right, guys, you know the drill. Mm-hmm. We got a couple chairs in here. 
uh, we, we can going, get some. And Brom procures a, a, pu- <laughs> a few more chairs and he sets them in the center of the room and he like ties these guys up in the, in the chair so that then they're looking very, very nervous. And he takes the dagger off of his hip and he cuts open their shirts and he slides his blade back in there. What was that for? So, just a, for, for intimidation, I imagine. Like can, <laughs> now the chest is exposed. Probably it's in a sense of insecurity. That, that, that makes the most sense to me. Is that not what we should do here? Twist his titties, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guy's guts is just like hanging out over his like belt. Just not, <laughs> not that much. <laughs> not him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sergeant is. He, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this, but he's got a, he's got a nice figure. He's muscular, definitely a sergeant. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know <laughs> the sergeant charge <laughs> <laughs> of my fantasies. Um, but now he's he's he looks really nervous. Uh, they both do, gentlemen. I suggest you start explaining yourselves. The sergeant like looks over at his like underling and he looks at you, Gorble. All right, well, I'm just going to tell you right now. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, we came here. Um, we had plans to help these uh, they had, no, these freaky ass fucking dudes with with hoods and stuff. They were going to um, they rode silently on the ship. It made me really, really uncomfortable. Uh, we brought them in in a little uh, cargo, let them out, and then they were supposed to do their thing. Um, I'm not sure what, 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 why we got paid very, very handsomely to do this. What else do you need to know? I'll tell you. Just You're don't kill uniform. me. You're in uniform. Yes. What uniform? I'm. I'm just. We just made these. We, Who do you serve? We serve the council. I rolled twenty five on insight. He is very, very visibly like nervous and uncomfortable. He's probably. You can tell that he's probably telling the truth. And this is the sergeant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> makeup and I have to do makeup. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Still going to be bad guy. <laughs> how many were there? It, it, how many of what? The weird guys. Uh, uh, there, there were, uh, if I remember correctly, there were two just lying stationary in those cargo. And we had four cargo, so eight. How many bad guys were in our town? I, I, I don't know. What, what bad guys, you have to define the terms. I don't. St- <laughs> I'm you gonna know? fling myself across the table and grab his shirt. <laughs> there's a table now. <laughs> there's no table, so oh, there's not. Yeah. Well, I'll just fly at him. Then. <laughs> myself. Grab up. his ripped open shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Did all eight of the men in hoods get off the ship? The, the cargo did. I don't. I, uh, we re- we opened it, and that was just our job. We were d- supposed to uh, arrive af- ha- ahead of time and and drop off the cargo and 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 release it. How many hooded men were there? Uh, a total of eight. You don't know where the other ones are. No, no, I don't. I didn't. I don't know where any of them are. Do you know about people working with you that are here? Ah, uh, ah, uh, do you? There's a couple of agents somewhere in the city. I'd, I don't know where, though. They're supposed to gather information and report back to the council. Do you know their names? I don't know their names. We are working separately. Oh, really? You can't because think of I... any names! <laughs> <laughs> uh, my understanding was that you were completely disconnected from all this. You were just paid by some random men in hoods to come here. I wasn't paid by hoods. I was paid by the council. Hmm. The men in hoods... I don't know if I'd even call them men. They were uh, creatures, even. Who would know the names of the people here who were informing? <clears throat> I, I don't think anyone would. I really don't. Did you know how to get here until this man showed you how to get here? Honestly, I didn't even really know where we were going until we got here. So he I mean, was the one who knew where we were. Where's the captain of the ship? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to go up to the other guy and I'm going to take the, my sword and like lightly trace it down his chest a little bit enough that it'll draw blood but it won't like totally cut him he's like oh okay 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 I'm the captain I'm the captain ah. what's your name Leof but heaven hold oh god don't kill me kill you don't kill me 
Oh, I thought you said kill you. No, I said don't kill me. You better <laughs> speak more clearly if you want to get out of this. Ah, fine, I'll try. You need to calm down. <laughs> You're being irrational Stabbing right me. now. I didn't stab you. Sliced me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's more where that came from if you don't spill the I beans. Would, what do you need to know? Do you know names? <laughs> um, I don't know names. I was paid to captain this ship down here. How did you know how to get here? We were given information by Dildan on how to get here, but he was very closeted about his... his very cagey. He would just make vague indications of where we should go. I wanted to strangle that little dwarf. You and me both... <laughs> okay. What um, other ma- what other information can you give us? Oh, I don't have any more information. Where did the hooded men go? I, I don't know. No. I more. was on the ship. <laughs> we dropped off. Uh, several, Where did you drop them off? Several of them left. Uh, we dropped them off up river, and they came down overnight. I imagine carrying the cargo into the city. Did you know the cargo was explosive? Uh, uh, yes, we knew. And you were comfortable bringing explosives to a town? No, I thought it would explode on the way and I'd die, but they paid me very handsomely. Did you overhear anything that they were talking about? What their plans were? Where, what they were targeting in the town? N- no, they just, they paid us very well in platinum. And I don't know how... Where is that? Where's what? The platinum. Oh, uh... uh. I suppose it'd be on the ship now, wouldn't it? Hmm. And his shoulders slump. Oh, no. It's played out very well for you. No, it did not. It was sarcasm. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you can kill me now. Go ahead, I'm ready. And he, <laughs> he like, tilts his head back to expose his throat. I take my blade... And I place it <laughs> flat behind his head and pull his head upright again. Like with the point? No. The flat? Flat. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, oh. So I draw his eyes back to mine. Uh, what are you doing? You're not going anywhere yet. Mm. I suppose that's fair. I did try this to conversation is not city. done. All right. What else do you need to know? Who from the council sent you? Uh, well, I I don't know who on the council sent me, uh, sent us here, but we were paid by one of the pages from, uh, it was Lord Volmark. How long ago did this happen? A few weeks ago, yes. We've been, I would say, we've been on, on a trip for, uh, three weeks Oh, he's dead. And what was the end goal of this? We were just supposed to bring a cargo in. Uh, uh, we were supposed to blend in with the with one of the uh, ships arriving on the on on the uh, the docket, but and f- fucking that dwarf made us wish, miss our window of opportunity. He got us lost. I'm gonna. Hmm. How who who brought you the? Hooded men. Uh, they were they were dropped off by soldiers uh, from Deepminster. Did the hooded men address you in any way? No, they. We didn't even really know what was on in in these this cargo until we saw them sitting inside there. Uh, we de- we checked a couple of times because naturally I don't want to transport cargo that I don't know what's on it. But uh, it was a mistake because they are horrifying to behold. So they were the cargo. They were part of the cargo, yes. Did you notice any weird smelling odors, like, that were noticeable that we could trace? Uh, uh let's see, um, there, uh, now that you mention it, there, there, there was a distinct, uh, very acrid, sickly sweet smell that I remember. They all kind of smelled like it, almost as if you someone had tried to mask some other odor with Potpourri, perhaps. And that's what the hooded men smelled like? That's what their crate smelled like, for sure. Hmm. 
Were all the explosives on the ship? Uh, well, yes, we were we were trying to un- unload some of them, but uh, it looks as though uh, you guys got to it before we could. It's, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, I I don't quite know uh, what else I can offer you. What about you? <laughs> what about me? Do you have any other information I for us? I just said that I don't know what else I can tell You're you. You're sure? I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I'll like pat his chest and climb on down. Put them in the cells. You've got it. And he grabs them up and throws them roughly into the cells down the hall. Thanks for cooperating. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to go back to the manor to see if we can scrounge something off of the dead men yeah. that Shadow can track. Yeah, that's a good idea. There could be four more of them. Right, yes. your gnome guys never responded, and that's probably not a good sign. They could be in the manor right now, oh. creating another monster. Yeah. <gasps> Let's go. Yeah. Back to the manor. Have okay. you guys ever noticed that it is just always something like <laughs> always <laughs> always something with this game what the fuck it's like you want to play a game where we sit in the hot tub yeah <laughs> i mean we could just go to a hot tub and just sit in it and hot then, spring sorry yeah. then we wouldn't have to deal with undead <laughs> fuck creatures this stupid earth <laughs> <laughs> this game blows we could we could just leave go to dogwood start a new life <laughs> Leave our whole town. Never Man, if we went to anyone if we went to Dogwick to start a new life, Dogwick would be exploding in days. <laughs> like <laughs> fate the, seems to have chosen you guys. People would have <laughs> smuggled in exploding goats that would just pop off. You're right. Yeah. Let's go to the manor. <laughs> All right. So you guys head back manor. to the manor. People are have left the docks now, are slowly milling about, and it is now... Uh, milling about? I said go home! <laughs> <laughs> they start running. <laughs> it's now... Uh, it's for their own safety. It's now uh, nice and dark out, so... Cool. It'll be harder to see him then. Not with these... And Pinwin slips. Everyone has goggles except her stag. Stupid. And we all got them in different places, which is the coolest part. Yeah. How cool are my goggles? I have goggles. <laughs> her stag puts his fingers around his eyes. Yeah, her stag, you sure do, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> really nice. Um, so you guys head back up the street and head towards the manor. Yep. You guys head inside the manor. But it's... Um, quiet inside you guys head downstairs yes shadow oh we gotta get the dead men that he that he can smell and then he might have already smelled them though to be fair which probably would have been good to ask him from the (laughs) get-go it'll be a quick rundown come on he'll definitely smell this and be like that's the smell i'm looking for that's how wolves and dogs so you guys head down into the cellar where a f- miss, uh, hand with missing finger let is laying on the ground. Mm. And the two bodies are there. And the iker that has dispersed mostly. And the chemical smell. Mm. Do your thing, Benwin. Oh, right. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just taking it all in. That was a lot. I talked to him as a dead person and his head was backwards. It's just weird. Um. Anyway, okay, Shadow... I need you to smell these guys. I'm going to have to speak with animals, aren't I? Maybe I, mean, I can it's try simple, without it's it. It's a simple you can command. You communicate yeah. with them. You could do this with okay. a dog. Or yeah. yeah. Shadow. <laughs> Track this smell. <laughs> and he... And his ears prick up. And he looks at you, Pinwin. Okay. Go. And he heads up the stairs really fast. <laughs> For <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna wait and then catch up <laughs> at your leisure because <laughs> you because you can the flip floppies <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you guys head upstairs and uh, shadow bounds towards the door which is closed and you guys open it up and he runs out through the gate and he waits at the edge of the gate. 
We're following him, Seth. <laughs> so you guys follow him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we decide to suddenly not follow him. I don't know. I don't get it. We go to dog work and we retire. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys... <laughs> And uh, yeah, he keeps going on to the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go forever. Yeah, following for days. <laughs> like, okay, where are you guys they? Start- now? <laughs> <laughs> start- <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> he leads you to a female dog. Win <laughs> <laughs> um, win. That's not what we said. <laughs> no, he. You guys bound down the streets, um, and go up near the um, the front gate. And uh, take a hard left, and then Shadow bounds toward the old, what was formerly the abandoned inn, but is now where the followers of Warcrag sleep. Oh, shoot. And he waits outside the door and uh, kind of <laughs> like indicates <laughs> that he, he kind of indicates that the smell is coming from inside. Are the lights on? Uh, um, there's there are some lights on in there. All right. What do you want to do with this? Can we look into the windows or anything? Uh, the windows have like on the lower level have been uh, covered by fabric, like uh, curtains. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. Have been and they're the curtains are closed. All of the curtains are closed. On the lower level, you can see up upstairs that they're they're open. But you guys would know that typically the followers w- spend a lot of the like evening out worshiping. So we wouldn't be waking anyone up. Yep, let's go in. Let's just do it. They're at, they're not here anyway. We don't know. Let's just go in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who's going in first? I'm going in first. All right. You throw the door open, and. It's weird. You s- <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Uh, the uh, the right in the entryway, you can see that there have this doesn't seem very enkindled. Like there are symbols drawn on the floor in what appears to be like white paint or something. A whole bunch of symbols. Was that white paint? That no, that had? was red, I think, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was red. Okay. And these don't look like the symbols that were in Belba's Okay, good. Room. Oh, I was going to be so mad. But it's all over the floor, leading up the stairs into the different rooms. Well, let's just collapse the building. <laughs> Burn it all down. There's no nothing in the room, though, other than the... Not that you can see. There's a few rooms downstairs, but... No, it's pretty dark down in this level. You do see a light from somewhere upstairs. Do I hear chanting? No. All right, come on, let's look through here. Okay. All right, so you guys head looking around downstairs or going upstairs? Does Shadow smell them? Uh, Shadow seems to be like hovering near the front door. Hmm. And he kind of... What's, what's near the front door? Just symbols. It almost seems like he's being tentative, like cautious, scared, maybe. Mm-hmm. All right, buddy. We'll be careful. We'll search the bottom floor and then go to the top floor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it use. I don't know if you've ever been in here, Tomar. You've probably been in here once or twice, Corbel. But um, like, there's a drawing room immediately to your right. Uh, kind of a communal, like, um, I don't know what you would call it. Just like a, you know, yeah, common room. And then uh, there's a little little kitchen in the back, and there's a few like uh, other rooms that seem to be uh, prayer rooms or something like that down on this floor. Um, it's a pretty large. It, it was reconverted in in, so it's it's a pretty large building. Um, but yeah, like it seems like they repurposed a lot of it for a communal nature, and so you don't really find anything down on this level. Okay, so you guys head up the stairs, mm-hmm. and. Uh, you you get up to the top of the stairs and you can see that yeah one of the rooms in the back uh, seems to be well lit and the door is open and these are you, the rooms you pass are empty but large and you move down give me who's in front okay go ahead and give me a perception check Tomar that's a natural twenty thirty five okay you get just a a couple of inches down the hall and you can see movement 
just like a sliver of move, movement right inside the doorway, as if something is passing slowly in front of it and back out. I don't know what you mean by that. Like you can just see like something move as if it's moving continuously, but kind of like moves in and out as if someone's maybe like walking around in there or something. The door is open? The door is open and the light is coming from that room. So they're not in the doorway? No, but like with that, I'm saying like the way you perceived it, you were just able to see that inside. Normally you wouldn't have seen anything from the hallway. So he's seeing like a shadow? No. You're yep. seeing, like, like the literal, like, you can see movement of some kind, but it's so small that you would have missed it had you rolled lower, basically. What am I supposed to do with that information? You would know that there's something very close to the inside of the door. Do we want to pass is without it, a choice? So is the door, like, cracked? It's completely open. So is it, like, <laughs> a straight-on look at no, the door? No, it's, like, around it's... the corner. That's why it's... It, if you hadn't rolled that good, you would have seen nothing. But it's just the slightest little indication. You know that something's just inside that doorway. All right, what's going on? Can I use... Uh, can I pull it towards me with a uh, opposing force? Um, You may try. I. What's the save on that? Um, It's just strength save. Okay. Oh, yeah, you pull it. You lock on to whatever this is, and you rip it around the corner, and you hear like a, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, and sliding into your view is Calcifer. Mm. And his sack hood head with the scrolled on um, smile, and he's just kind of staring at you guys and slowly dancing. What's going on, guys? Long time no see. Oh, not again. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Just tell us about the thing. What do you want? Oh, well, you guys are like way less combative than you usually are. Oh this my is- god. Fucking just tell us. <laughs> we didn't want any man. Man, you pulled me around the corner with your little magic hook. Exactly, so you can tell us why you're here. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to calm down for like a split second. If you want me to tell you stuff, you guys gotta be nice to me. Never done anything bad to you. Um, beg to differ. What have I done to you, Pinwin? Oh my god. <laughs> have <laughs> you done us? Uh, give me a charisma save, Corbel. Why you got me saving on shit? 23. 23. You feel this vague sense of, of a desire to do another pirouette, but you're able to throw it off. Guys, just relax. Hey, I'm, you know, I'm not doing anything bad here. I'm just trying to, like, get some stuff done. Are you Orc Boy? What? Orc Boy. No. Who the fuck's Orc Boy? Hmm. Are you a Hobgoblin? What? Hobgoblin. What's that? One of those nasty goblinoid orange skinned freaks. Yeah, can you just tell us about yourself? No. Like we'd like some information. Anyway, kind of nice, guys. We don't really have time for meeting. this right Why now. Why do you always cover your face up? Man, I got. Fucking... Are you embarrassed? Is it because you're ugly? I mean, probably. I don't know. Let me see. I'm a good judge. Nah, it's cool. No, show me. We don't really have time for this, guys. Just don't have time for it. Why? Well, I mean, um, well, I didn't want to ruin the surprise, but uh, right about yeah, right now, um, you get your city's. Being, being attacked. Yep. So, uh, you might want to sort that out. By what? Ah. Uh, isn't that the real question, Gorbs? That's a, that's a good question. Um, you guys could sit here and ask me, or you could go out there and find out. And at that moment, you guys hear a ton of screaming coming from outside. I try to snatch his uh, mask off. Sup? Okay. <laughs> uh, give me a dexterity check. Oh, oh man. fuck. <laughs> Uh, five. <laughs> you, like, start running towards him, and he, like, takes a few, like, hops back. Whoa, 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 dude, what are you doing? Get your hands off me, man. Have you even washed those things? No. Oh, well, um, I mean, you guys can let that all happen. That's cool, too, but... What is happening right now? Why are you here? What's going on? I need the cliff notes. Well, I'll do, I'll do you a real good solid. You can ask me questions... 
Or you can go outside and see what's going on, but you can't do both. What's in the room that you're in? I'm so, are you going with questions? Because if I was a gambling man, I'd definitely try to go see what's going on outside. And you guys can hear a ton of screams and shouts. Oh my god! You got five seconds to decide what you want to do. You are the worst! Why do you care about us so much and torturing us? You guys are an ends to a means. Anyway, what's your choice? Means to an end? Ends to a means, means to an end, whatever. I go outside. I you, stay. You're gonna I'll, stay? I'll go outside. I'll stay. Sorry, guys, you get, it's all for one. No, How? I can't hear you. <laughs> Try to take his mask off again. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like several feet away from you. What he he kind of gestures around. If you guys think I like that I would actually be here, that that's like really, really cute. Why would I put myself in a position of danger? You guys have chopped my head off. You disintegrated a body that I had. Um, you've, I don't know, killed me like a bunch of times. Why would I put myself here? And then he just disappears. We disintegrated a body that he had? Me? No. Tomar, you threw that... Um, oh. thing at him. No, he drank it. Oh yeah, that's what it was. <clears throat> Choose better words then. He disintegrated. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out the door. Okay, you guys go out the door. Well, you guys already had. Mm-hmm. You guys head outside, and Tomar immediately you can hear more sounds of people yelling and crying out, and it's far away, but you can definitely hear some loud like. Water noises and some loud crunching noises. The fuck is that? Water. And hmm. you head, you guys all race out of the inn and head towards the sound, um, back towards the docks. You can see that there's a big cluster of people up at the rise before you drop down to the docks. There's a huge cluster of people, everybody watching and and uh, shouting. And as you guys push through the crowd, you can see that something has come out of the lock. Something has, this large shape has slipped out of the lock, is half in, half out, but it's massive. And it's slamming several appendages down on the dock and damaging the dock a bit. It hasn't like completely destroyed it, but it it definitely is some sort of beast. What does it look like? It's got many, it's got several different appendages. Um, It's got like this big beaked face um, and what appears to be wings or something on its back. It looks reptilian kind of, but also sort of aquatic. And it's slapping its appendages against the the dock itself. Um, But it's reachable? Uh, You'd have to go down to the dock. You guys are like 100 feet away from the dock. All the everyone's clustered up at the top rise before you head down to the dock, and no one seems to be on the dock except for a few bodies that are down there. All right. How, how big does the creature look compared to the bodies? Um, I mean, you can tell that it's raised at least like thirty feet out of the water, and it's still in the water. And these appendages look really long as well. Okay. Does it look similar to the tentacles of the creature that we fought in the ocean? Um, no. Okay. I'm going to try to run up and maybe use press the digitation to make it pretty loud, but I'm going to try to do enthralling performance. Okay. On this creature. All right. So, DC 18 save? Charisma? Or wisdom save. Wisdom save. Sorry. Okay. What do you do? Um, so I'm going to run, a- run ahead, and I'm going to play, like, a calming, soothing, sweet melody for it and on my loot. Okay, and- so you guys watch as Pinwin takes out his loot and starts playing this calm little ditty. And it, you can watch it. You watch as the magic pours down the side of the hill and wraps around this creature, and it just remember that it takes a minute you have to play for a minute for that right Mm. 
And um, so it seems like it's sort of listening and its arms are kind of slowing. It's not smashing as much anymore. And it's, uh, yeah, it seems like it might be working. It seems like it's calming this beast down a bit. All right. Well, cool. Good work, gang. And then <laughs> bounce. No, just kidding. Um, all right. So do I get through a minute? Yeah, you play for like a minute, and everyone else around is kind of like, "Yeah, woo!" Ah! <laughs> you've, you've affected a huge mass of people, and they've kind of cut a you, you've kind of cut a swath with your music through them, and then people are parting, and now everybody's just like watching you, Pinwin. I'm just like drawing closer, like playing, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this creature seems to have calmed quite a bit, and is just like watching you. All right. What are we going to do with it now? I have no idea. I just thought I'd calm it a little for... We have an hour. It so. lasts for an hour? Yeah. Do you have to play for an hour? Um, no, I play one minute, and then if they fail the saving throw, then they're charmed for an hour, or until it takes any damage, it's attacked, or it sees an attack or damage to its allies. Oh, it's so charmed. It might be. Yeah. That means that it won't attack you. But I mean, as long as no one touches it or attacks it. The creature seems to be pacified for the moment. So take that for what you will. So yeah, creature for the moment does not seem appear to be violent anymore. All right. So, so it's not attacking the people down I by the docks anymore? I appreciate this, Pinwin. This is a great idea, but what are, you the still fuck playing, are we going to do? Are you still playing, Pinwin? Hmm? Are you still playing? After the minutes, then I'll probably stop. Okay. The Let's moment you happens. stop playing, this creature starts seeming to be kind of aggressive again. Okay, I'll go back <laughs> to playing. <laughs> you start playing, and the creature... Hmm. Okay, all right. What do we this do? is good. Well, we can keep it calm, at least. Can we lure it away from the city? If I did dissonant whispers and it had to flee as far as it could, do you think that could work? I think that that lasts for one round, right? Then what, would it come back? It could. Yeah, because once it takes damage, the charmed effect is ended. Was this brought here, do you think? Or is it just maybe that's what was here in on a separate box. thing? Can we banish it? Does anyone have a power to banish it? No. Mm-mm. I wish it fit in my bag. Um, can we shoot it? Can we kill it? Can we explode it? Can we polym- polymorph it into something? Mm. That's a good idea. And then just like take it somewhere? Yeah, it can be a new pet. And and then do what with it? Have it for fun? That doesn't last very long. If we could even shrink it, that'd be fun. <sighs> okay. What do we want to change it into? Oh. Hmm. Um... Um, Change it into something really tiny. And cute. And then I can wild shape into a bird and carry it way high into the sky and just drop it. See if it just kills it outright. Or we could keep it. (laughs) Well, it's trying to kill our people and stuff. Why would we do that, Penwin? (laughs) I mean, if it's little and cute, this it's not little be. and cute this for is, long. That's it, and when this is the <laughs> last straw, <laughs> this is our hometown. It was killing people. It's controlled by Calcifer. I suppose, yeah, okay. that makes sense. Can't be something very quick. Um, something that my bird form could snatch up. <laughs> what are you thinking? A kitten. Kittens are pretty fast. Not compared to a fucking hawk or something. Nope, Is there fine. something that would, like float <laughs> on top of water so we'd be something able to that find can't it fly quick? for sure? Oh my god, I hate, I hate doing kitten. 
<laughs> do something else, man, like a rabbit or Oh, those are cute too. A squirrel. All so cute. <laughs> I hate all of this. I will do kitten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, we're not gonna kill a kitten. We can't. It's do not that. actually a kitten. Just keep that in mind. I know, it's just her stand killing a kitten. There's gotta be something better. Okay. I'll what about take it like far a worm? Away so you don't Am have I... to watch it. <laughs> what about a worm? A worm isn't going to die if you drop it. We're gonna miss it in the ocean too. Uh. Okay. Eel? Gorble, just turn it I, into something. Well, I have to get in within what, 60 what, feet. What squishes really easily? Like it when and? it uh, hits human. stuff. <laughs> a <Beetle>? human? Bugs? <laughs> They're not beasts. A giant bug? <laughs> a Some would say. A human. <laughs> turn it into a monkey. <laughs> you want a monkey? I would be, it would be wrestling me the whole <laughs> trip. <laughs> like, a, like a small monkey. <laughs> Bury your, <laughs> bury your talents into it. It would be it. biting me and trying to choke me. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> it's just fighting a fucking owler monkey. It's just, I'm just choking like, him out. <laughs> just beating the shit out of him. Rips my beak off. It's just <laughs> fucking murders her. <laughs> he falls. Just, breaks his wings and he dies. <laughs> So something that wouldn't be that difficult. Okay, kitten. What about like a Actually, fish? Actually, kitten might bite me and stuff. Because if he takes a fish, oh my god, hawks and he puts kill, it on the on the hawks land, kill it's cats gonna die anyway. All the time. I don't, don't want to kill it though. I want to fly it up. All you'd have to do is grasp it on its back, man. We could do a fish. Yeah. But what if he gets the wrong fish? <laughs> Make it like a really fat. Pinwin, are you? You gotta, Pinwin, You gotta control. I still yeah. Am, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be playing. That's music. true. Kitten, you'll be able to see it. All right. Okay, I need to get within sixty feet. Okay, so preemptively turn into bird stag, so then you can see it, and then do we still have the telepathic bond going? Should. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I wild shape into a hawk. Okay, or so eagle. A eagle. Okay, so Pinwin Pinwin. Herstag sh- <laughs> turns into <laughs> turns into an eagle and uh everyone parts as Gorble walks down the uh the the ramp towards the docks until you're within sixty feet. Now Gorble, you see that this creature is massive and its appendages are sitting up relaxed on the docks right now and you are the only one other than a few dead bodies all right i need a wisdom save of 18 i think it's wisdom i'm sorry yeah It does not say. Oh, thank God. Yes. So you. <sighs> it's kitten time. <laughs> <laughs> the kitten is just floating oh, no, in the water. No. Oh, my God. And I spot it <laughs> and I dive in for the grab, not the kill. Give me a. Uh, I guess it would be an attack roll. Uh, can I give. I'm going to give I, I'd make it a inspiration. Dex. I mean, I know what it is. But um, it's so sad. I mean, her. How hawk. about a grapple? You're gonna grapple? No. How about a grapple? Makes sense. Well, because you're coming in super hot. So yeah, he's not intending to kill it. No, he's I know. Intending e- to grab it. Eagles, I feel like, don't they like fish and stuff? Like, yeah. yeah. It shouldn't be too difficult to. No. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and make it a grapple. So it'll be a strength. And check. it's it's also a animal that's not good in the water. That's true. <laughs> and it. Floats. I'm just trying to see how well you would dive down and. Pick it up. Did it give you bardic inspirational anyway? So what am I rolling? Dex, well, you, dex well, check. Pl- yeah, uh, yeah. Do dex just because it's it would be like a kind of a ranged like drop and swoop, and then you have bardic inspiration. Well, he already has inspiration for building the hut. Oh. If he wants to use that inspiration, because that's just advantage. Bardic well, that's better than I bardic think inspiration. For that's a true. Kitten floating on top of the water. And in an eagle form, What'd you I don't roll? think it'll be that hard. A uh, 16. Okay, so you sh- you guys watch, sh- and her stag snatches the kitten out of the water. Her stag, you fly up, and this kitten's just like, Hi, kitten. 
Now, where Anders are you flying to? Flying straight up as high as I what can. What does the kitten okay? look like? It's a cute little gray kitten. I think the hearst egg, <laughs> you're going to want to drop it on land, though. Those are the cutest ones. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. So you're just going to Maybe fly? onto some rocks. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to try to find some... This is terrible. Nice rock, like really jagged looking rocks. Okay, there's a lot of those. But like outside of cities. Okay. So you fly up and up and up and up and up, and you fly out, and not too far from the city itself is a like along a rocky shore on the lock. You can see a bunch of jagged rocks on a cliff face. Aww. I'm going to drop it. Okay. So you look down, you release the kitten, and you watch this cute little kitten. <laughs> Alan Rickman. <laughs> <laughs> Die hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it just shh. Long Sweet. live the king. <laughs> <laughs> and once it hits, it immediately balloons out into its true shape, but pierced by these rocks. And this big, large creature, which you now see looks kind of like dragon like with a lot of appendages, lays dashed upon the rocks. I'll fly down a little bit to see if it's moving. All right. You f- you fly down. It doesn't appear to be moving at the moment. But in the I next f- moment, fly back to Wolves Rest. Okay. Takes you a few minutes and you get back to Wolves Rest and you you going to change as soon as you land? Mhm. Okay, so you land down by them and you just <laughs> <laughs> you're back into her stag form. <sighs> it is done. Why did it have to be a kitten? It doesn't matter what it was. It wasn't a kitten. I know. Good job, Herstag. Good yeah, job, good, Gorble. Good job. Oh, it Thank succeeded, you. by the way. I'm pretty uh, sure it's that's dead. Good. good. Wait, pretty sure? I mean, it wasn't Reuben. Suck it, Calcifer. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> do we need to go back in there? But what do we do now? He might not have been the only hooded person we, in there. We might want to... Yeah, those oh. guys are still around, and oh, we want to yeah. We want to see what was going on in that room for sure. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Okay. So you guys make your way back to the inn. You, all the people in the city are now like... As you guys come through, they're all they're all still outside. I know you told them to go back to their homes, but who's going to stay in their homes when shit like this is yeah. happening? Fucking go home! <laughs> <laughs> Now they've got it under control. But they're they've all like they're all like spread against the street, like lining the street, allowing you guys to like run through if you want to. People got hurt because they weren't in their homes. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody seems to be moving at the moment. They're all just kind of like shocked, and you guys are running down along. I turn around. Why the fuck aren't you moving? Give me persuasion or intimidation. Intimidation. 28. Okay. They all look, <laughs> all of them like just <laughs> they like separate and you guys make it back to the inn. Push the door open, run up the stairs and enter the room in the back. And uh, you guys see now that there are several forms lying on the floor in that room. Like Swords dead? pushed through their chests. They seem to be different members of the, um, different followers of Wirecrag, the Enkindled ones. Do they recognize them? Uh, you, the only one you guys really recognize, they, I mean, they're all, you recognize them all, but most recently, Gorbel, the kindly one that had been feeding Lewin, she's among them. Great. Now no one can feed Lewin. Um, is this like... I mean, religiously motivated or something? The hate crime. (laughs) Is there anything else in the room that will point us to where we need to go? Um, No, but you do see a lot of, like, scrolling emblems all over this room. I'll try to read them. Yeah, can I investigate them? Well, I guess as you guys, as Gorbel enters the room, the everything kind of shifts because you've you're still got that translating device on you mm. and the symbols on the wall start to coalesce into common and you can see a lot of things saying like arise 
Um, like <laughs> they're the cart worshippers. <laughs> Uh, but like, please, please, Lord, hear, hear us. We are your servants. Take these sacrifices. What the fuck? Gross. Were they sacrificing to work, Craig, or something? I don't think so. Seems like it might be an enemy of work, Craig. Who's work, Craig's enemies? Does Craig have enemies? We should take one of these bodies to the temple, maybe the Nightmare Diamond. I saw a vision the Nightmare Diamond wanted to unlock its true power. It wanted worship, and then it showed me a vision of a sacrifice. Since these people are already dead, maybe we could use their body. You're going to give sloppy seconds to the Nightmare Diamond? I don't know. Maybe the Nightmare Diamond can fix our problems with the... Dead men. I don't I know. I think at this point it's worth a try. I don't know okay, what to do. Fine. We need to do it fast, though. Grab the... Smallest body? The lamest looking one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right, so you pull the sword out of the body and sling it over your shoulder, Gorble? Mm-hmm. All right, you guys head back downstairs and outside, and you head towards the temple. Uh, the streets are empty. Seems that it worked. Global finally. 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 God. <laughs> the streets are empty. And stay in there. <laughs> and you guys make your slow walk towards the... Slow walk? We're hustling. <laughs> <laughs> your hustled walk towards the temple. You guys see that the lights are on inside the temple. Mm-hmm. If they are in there... Well, then that solves our problem. <laughs> then we just fucking fight them. You and a nightmare time. Push the door open. And sure enough... Inside the temple are four robed figures. <laughs> their hands raised up and under their breath. <laughs> Fucking sick of the <laughs> shit. <laughs> the nightmare diamond is radiating this ni- like beautiful flame growing off of it. That nightmare diamond is such a <laughs> slut for worship. It doesn't matter care where it comes from. <laughs> No slut shaming, by the way. <laughs> Just um, diamond shaming. <laughs> I cast fairy fire on him. Okay. Oh my god, you too. <laughs> I think three of us have fairy fire. Can I drag the body up there and then slit its throat in front of the nightmare diamond while they're doing that? Go for it. What if he thinks you're sacrificing for the robe dudes? <laughs> I mean, I'm the one doing the sacrificing in this scenario. <laughs> Mine's better. So they'd have to roll a dex save of 18 to okay. avoid the fairy fire. They're locked in, so they light up. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> so, Tomar, you drag the body over. Do you present it to the Nightmare Diamond? How do you do this? Uh, I'm going to try and think at the Nightmare Diamond. Okay. Give me a religion check. 19. Okay. You feel like you can you can sort of reach out with your thoughts, kind of like how you would pray to Wirecrag, but you're kind of pushing it towards the Nightmare Diamond. This one's for you, buddy. And you present it and slit the throat. Blood spills out. And... Uh, the Nightmare Diamond's flame just starts like shining even more brilliantly. The flame is supercharged now. Excellent. Tomar, Iron Fist. I am sated. And then the flames kind of and you watch as the uh, the worshippers, these cult members, they all get hit by the flame coming out of the Nightmare Diamond and they and they <laughs> all right. and they disintegrate immediately. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> I look Ooh. back at them. <laughs> uh. Sucks to be them, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's cool. Well, now what? Pinwin, Corbel, Herstag, give me charisma saves. What? Nice. 
then oh, tell me if you beat oh. a 23. Fuck no. Uh-uh. Six. 25. Really? Okay. 10. Okay. So her stag and uh, Pinwin, you're immediately, you slide back and you put your hands over your mouth and close your eyes and tilt your head down, almost as if you're in prayer and you drop to your knees as... And Gorbel, you feel very strongly compelled, but you step back a bit. You shake it off, and Calcifer walks into the temple. And he looks at you, her, uh, Tomar. He says, oh, you guys activated my nightmare diamond. Thanks for doing that for me. Uh, Your nightmare diamond? Yeah, this is, this is mine now. No. And he points a finger at you, Tomar. Give me a charisma save. You're trying to beat a 23. Well, I can't possibly do that. Not even with a 20? No, I only have a zero modifier. Oh. Oh, yeah, so that's true. he points his finger at you, and you drop to your knees and put your hands over your mouth oh my God, and tilt sucks. your head down. <laughs> and he starts just walking towards... This is fucking on me? Why didn't we use our inspiration to re-roll? I'm gonna think... I'm gonna try and think of the Nightmare Diamond since I sacrificed to it. Like, destroy him. <laughs> Please. Do something. In your mind, it's... Lothienia. <laughs> it says, but he is such a worthy host. But I can make it worth your while. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. Uh... If you're planning on doing anything, Gorbel, you're going to have to roll initiative. Well, with who? <laughs> <laughs> 20. Ooh, that's lucky. <laughs> okay. Oh, was it lucky? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, I got a 19. Make it count. <laughs> so he starts stepping towards the nightmare diamond. Oh my god! I wish I could medicate. Can we so think hard. to each other I, still? Yeah, you guys can all think to oh, each other. Free you just, her you stag. Can't, you can't Gorbel, get you the can't. get my bag out and put the nightmare diamond in it. Free her stag somehow. <laughs> guys, I think I'm just going to try to cast disintegrate. On what? On the nightmare On diamond. Calcifer. That's not him, man. What about the Nightmare Diamond? He's still, he's just, he's almost to the Nightmare Diamond. What do you want me to fucking do? I jump up. And? I race over. Okay. I grab the Nightmare Diamond in both of my hands. Okay. You jump up and grab the Nightmare Diamond with both of your hands. Give me a wisdom save. Do you have inspiration? I do have inspiration. Oh, good. So you can re-roll if you would like to use that inspiration. Hell yeah, I want to re-roll. A little bit better. Not much. Oh, God. Can we save again? It's a wisdom save. Mm-hmm. Uh, 11. 11. You grab at the Nightmare Diamond, but you were pushed back, and you fly flat against the wall. <laughs> and Calcifer walks <gasps> up, and he starts reaching out for the Nightmare Diamond. Were you going to say anything to the Nightmare Diamond still, Tomar? We'll get back to... We'll say this was happening at the same time. I said, well, I'll make it worth your while. And the Nightmare Diamond says, what can you offer? It's Myself. Kids. As a host... Yes. Okay. And as Calcifer reaches for the Nightmare Diamond, it disperses. And in your closed hands, behind, in front of your mouth, Tomar, you feel the hard uh, like texture of the Nightmare Diamond clasped deep in your prayer hands. But you don't think anybody would be able to see that. And Calcifer... Like he it disappears like ah fuck what the fuck happened night where the fuck is this nightmare diamond at and he like looks around at you guys and he sees that you're still up Gorbel man wh what are you trying to do and he points his finger at you give me a charisma save since it's technically his turn twenty 
29. All right. So, <laughs> so he like points his finger at you and you see like this little mist come out and you just kind of smack it away. If you would like to do anything, now would be the time. Oh, actually, everybody's try to save. Yay. Charisma save? Yeah, I charisma save. Oh my save. God. Is he's it 23? Not 13. Yeah. Nope. He's Can't not possibly. real. He's not really there. How is he casting shit? That's some bullshit. <laughs> also, I want what he's got. <laughs> I love okay, what he's, what he's having. Did you, did you try to save? Yeah, I had 13. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. damn it, guys. I hate being on my own. I know. First Can time I use has a BAM card. Yeah. Come on. I don't have one. He did say we're almost done with the oh, Oracle. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I rolled the exact same thing. <laughs> so, Penwin, Herstag, and Tomar, you were still cloistered into a prayer. Does this count as charmed? No. It is not a charmed position. I don't have your diamond, man. What's your fucking beef with me? <laughs> <laughs> Who has the diamond? Someone here has the diamond. And he... They're all under your spell. He snaps his finger, and a big long blade appears in his hand. I mean, I could just take it from one of you guys. I really don't like the idea Why of killing you. Why would any of us have it? Well, somebody in here's got it, because the Nightmare Diamond... Well, without going into a big, long story, the Nightmare Diamond really likes to be to have legs and move around. So somebody in here's got to have it. If it's not you, I guess I'm just going to have to take it from one of these guys. And he, like, starts walking over to Pinwin. I'm, I'm just going to try it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to try to cast Disintegrate. Okay. What's the save? <laughs> I get very excited by that. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I'd rather not be killed by Kelsey. Deck save of 18. As you start to cast Disintegrate, he he w- puts his hand up and he says, Stop. What did you roll? But nothing happens. It looked like he tried to cast Counterspell. And then Disintegrate. How do you cast that? I mean, I, visibly. I do it with my hands clapping over my head. Okay, and <laughs> he disintegrates. There's also some damage involved. Okay. I need 16d6. I mean, he disintegrates. It did all the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Every bit of damage. <laughs> But you guys are still locked into your... Was that the real Calcifer? Oh no, but he was going to kill you with a sword. Right. Can you get us out of yeah, this I somehow? To, I go and like, <laughs> I shake Pinwin. Okay, you shake Pinwin. Um, Pinwin! Do you want to maybe, I don't know, do something else other than shake? Because shaking isn't going to do it. You guys can try to save again. Well, Pinwin can try to save again. All right. Oh, my God. 23. So, <laughs> Pinwin, you are shaken from your reverie. Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> mm. We've got to get these guys out of it, Pinwin. Pinwin, you, s- Pinwin you see the the body that uh, Tomar slit the throat of now suddenly stands up. Oh, God. Uh, I had to go with the thing that would work the best. Holy shit. You guys are really making me work this time. I'm going to shoot my oath bow at him. Okay. (laughs) I'm so fucking sick of this. With a fire arrow. (laughs) With a fire arrow. So Mm -hmm. you draw a fire arrow and fire at him? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's fairy fire going, isn't there? Yeah, so you have advantage. Oh, yeah. How am I rolling so bad tonight? 16. Okay. You just miss him like... It sticks into the wall and... Oh (laughs) my god. Are these arrows cursed? Is that part of this? You have two attacks. I'll try to... What did I just use? A fire arrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quickly though. (laughs) I'll try to do a... Ice arrow. Okay. Come on. 20. Wait, there's no fairy fire on this thing. No. No? No. 
It was a my body. First, well, my first roll was 20. Sorry. First roll is 20. Mm-hmm. You hit. Okay. With the ice one. Yep. Go ahead and roll regular damage, and then give me an additional d10 for ice damage. Okay. So 11 plus... Is this 10? Right? Yep. Okay. And then we're using... 13 damage. 13 damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. It, oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, so here's what we'll do. You give me the nightmare diamond and I don't destroy this whole city. How about that? You have two seconds to decide. One, two. Why do you want this nightmare okay, diamond Okay, looks so like bad. I'm going to destroy the whole city then. Hey, hey, hey. Just calm down. You have literally... We don't have the diamond! One of you guys does, so one of these two must have it. We can't even, like, keep it kind of interested in us that long. We have to be like, good neighbor diamond, and snaps his finger, and shh, the blade appears again. Can I, can I do something? It, yeah, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Counterspell, and can I, like, cast that at Tomar to... Mm-mm. No. That's a can, yeah. Okay, can I do... Do you have nope. to spell magic? No. Fuck. Um. Also, you don't know that I did that with the Nightmare Diamond. I know you didn't do that, but I'm trying to get you out of that spell that you're under. Well, I was thinking to everyone free her stag this whole time. You guys can still think, by the way. Oh. You guys can still think this while you're frozen. Could I... Uh, I'm going to maybe... It's Gorbel's turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can we move our hands at all? Mm-mm. You guys are like pretty much frozen do, in place. So. Do I feel any different? You feel like an, an interesting sense of communication at this moment. You feel as if you are connected to some... Like you can communicate with a great mind. I'm going to feel in in myself and like what kind of magic is he using? How do we stop this? You merely have to ask, Tomar Iron Fist. Please do. Give me a religion check. Twenty-five. Okay. Um, you well, well, We'll let Gorbel go, and then we'll come back to you real fast. Gorbel, what do you plan on doing? I'll cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. It's a wisdom save of 18. 18. Does not save. I just whisper to him. What do you say? You won't be able to hear it. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me it's what a whisper. Saying. Yeah, but what are you saying in the in the whisper? Isn't it like, like, vicious little like? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Those weren't words. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, what? Uh, tell me the effect of that again. So, it's terrible pain. Okay. Um. Let's see. It will be. 66 psychic damage and it will have to run away as far as it can. Okay. I must steal some d6s. Twenty-six? No, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay, so you yes, yes, yes. and then you watch as this reanimated body just and pushes back against the like runs back over here against the wall and like try is trying very hard to get as far away from you as it as he can, uh, Gorbel. Tomar, you with the power that the nightmare diamond seems to have given you. In this moment, you were able to shake off this effect. Yeah. And now you are free to move. Uh, can I possibly transfer this power to Herstag to free him too? Um, you could ask the Nightmare Diamond. Him too. And I walk up to him. 
And I put my hand on his shoulder. Okay. And uh, give me a religion check. 17. Yeah. You, Herstag, you feel something ebbing into your consciousness. And, uh, like, you feel like an energy returning to your limbs. And you uh, break out of this spell effect. Now you guys are all, except for Shadow, back to normal. Oh, is Shadow praying? <laughs> well, Shadow's like tilted his oh. head down. Can I sense where Calcifer is? Uh, the I na- speak to the Nightmare yeah. Demon. Part of Calcifer is in me. So, yes. And you get an image in your head. It like sh- kind of shoots you. <sighs> and you s- all you can see in this moment is like very familiar looking trees and it looks to be like you're pretty sure this is the area around Moonreach where you grew up but it doesn't zero in much more than that all right everybody uh you three roll initiative since Gorbel already did fuck <laughs> five twelve twenty twenty when it's your turn. I'll try to just shoot, like, a normal arrow at him. Okay. Can I do that and me, Chan, in the same turn? No. Okay. Well, that's okay. All right. So normal Ospo shot. 26. 26 hits. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Seven damage. <laughs> you can see that Calcifer's body is starting to glow with that shot. Are you going to shoot again, or what are you going to do? Mm-hmm. 27. 27. Actually, 29. That, that definitely hits. Okay. And then how long does that effect last for, Gorbel? This Net Whispers? I think a minute. 11. 11? 11. 11. Okay. Body glows again, and you can see uh, he starts putting his hands up and, like, moving them back and forth. Oh, no, it's just instantaneous. Okay. Does it... Um, so he's allowed to save again at his turn then? Yeah, I, th- I think it's just the ones. Her stay. It's your turn. Oh Wait, you God. got higher than 20? No, but we were on Pinwin, so you'll be at the top of the next round. <sighs> oh. I want to use my BAM guard. To do what? As a druid of the Circle of Dreams, I would like to peer through his consciousness into his dreams Mm -hmm. and try to find his exact location where his where he's reaching out from okay for through scrying okay so herstag uses his bam card and you guys feel all the air pretty much leave the room for a moment and then seems to enter again all at once and starts (laughs) papers start flying around Herstag sticks his hand out and his body is like glowing a brilliant green color and he his finger points right at the body of Calcifer <laughs> and this little little beam of light shoots right into his head and you watch his body go limp for a moment and you're spiraling through his dreams into his mind Herstag you see a ton of stuff. You see a ton of times where he interacted with the wolves, even times before you were there. And it seems like you're just kind of flying uh, down and into just his memories. And you see um, a body lying still in a cave. What appears to be a cave, but you're positive it's somewhere very near Moonreach. A cave you had passed many times before. A cave with murals on the walls and in in a room with a pool and in that pool is a glowing stone sitting in this pool glowing green in nothing but darkness you also sense in this mind in his mind you can see that what appears to be a young hobgoblin boy you can see his memories from growing up in moonreach he finds a nightmare diamond and impresses part of himself into it. And so now you have the sense that part of where 
he Calcifer is, part of it is in Moonreach, in a cave just outside the city, and part of him is in the Nightmare Diamond. Every lich has a th- phylactery, and that's what you see as you scry. Oh. <laughs> and then you shit. Yeah, good <laughs> job, Tomar. I'm going to have to fucking Terminator 2 myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Herstag, that's what you see. <laughs> And it seems to have left Calcifer visibly shaken. He still seems to be, like, uh, like, traveling in through his memories. I found you, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Back to the top of the order. Gorble. And Gorble doesn't know any of this stuff. But you I watched Herstag do that, so you might... And I, the weir- worm got all weird. I've got no idea. Um, <laughs> He's very distracted at this moment. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Okay. So you... He's, Dex saving. Yeah, he's not going to save. He's very distracted. So his body lights up. Tomar, it's your turn. Triple chop. You're going to triple chop him? Yes. Okay. Okay, so 32, 25, 30. It's over 30. (laughs) Okay, so all three attacks hit. So you go ahead and roll damage. Where's, oh. 12, 14, 12. 12, 14, and 12. Show me what you got. All right. Um, seeing where he's glowing, or whatever the body's glowing from, I'm just gonna stick the sword in and then open it up all the way. <laughs> That's becoming your signature move. Mm-hmm. You just slice him up through the middle, and his two sides fall open like a banana, and he slides down, <laughs> and everything is still. Woo! Well, that was crazy. I know where he is. Me too. Okay. Where? Oh. We have to go back home. He's in Moonreach, in a cave with murals, in some mm-hmm. kind of stone. <sighs> We've right. been there before. Did he? Get, in a pool of water. Did he get the nightmare diamond then? And you, Gorble, and you, Tomar, would remember that this pool of water, back at the very beginning, when you were just children, was where you stumbled onto that stone that seemed to grant you with some destined fate. Well, let's go. And that's where we're going to end for tonight. Holy shit. That's crazy. So guys, yeah, wow. Thoughts? Oh my god. (laughs) That was a lot. A lot of intense emotions there. Uh Uh-huh. Shit. And we went from like interviews, happy chillness, and then... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that yes. was like two I'm, episodes ago. I had a feeling it was going to not be as chill. <laughs> yeah, this went south. <sighs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's throw out some experience, guys. Was that the end of the arc? Um. I mean, no. Yeah. But. God damn it, Seth. <laughs> we still have to go to Moon Reach. <laughs> yeah, but like. I don't know. Okay. It's up to him. You know what? Yeah. That was the end of the arc. <laughs> <laughs> how, but how? I mean, that was a pretty big step, like, yeah, finding that's out yeah. exact yeah, location like, that seems like an arc ending of thing. the BB. Yeah, yeah but that was so anticlimactic how you did it. Well, no. I had to think about it. You know but what? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Fine, I guess. Whatever, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign's over. Bye. I definitely did not anticipate you scrying through his brain and I'm just sick of him coming back. Well, most like, people, I want to yeah, kill What's that interesting, fucker. what's interesting is that most people have been using BAM cards this whole time for some sort of like crazy epic battle turn mm-hmm. thing, but he literally used it to gain super knowledge. Mm-hmm. So that That's was yes. all I could think to do. And I and I will say Herstag that that will have far-reaching effects. 
not yeah, consequences. Yeah, I thought that was really good. The next arc is called Effects. <laughs> <laughs> Far-reaching effects. So yeah, let's dole out some experience. Uh, holy shit! Mm-hmm. So for all the battles that you get, well, let me pull this up. Sorry, motherfucker. I know. I'm so <laughs> awful. God, okay. that was so stressful. can't believe so this for, is the end of the arc. Whoa. Yeah. So you listeners, this is the end of the first arc you've heard, and we'll be on to the next arc um, with the next episode. So let's do all some experience here. So for the... Uh, let's see. Where, shit. I had it pulled up. Okay. So for the combat in the temple, for the combat below the manor, and for the what could have been potential combat on the docks, you guys are going to take 9,200 experience points. Ooh, mama. Yeah. Jesus. That's a chunk of change. It was, a, it was uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, for ending an arc, you guys all get an additional 200 experience points. Which I decided right now because I w- it wasn't supposed to be, but that kind of ended that the arc there. So good job, Herstag. And you can have an additional 200 experience for ending the fucking <laughs> arc. <laughs> Whoa. Plus the 500 BAM card experience. Oh, yeah. Plus the 500 BAM card experience. But everybody did cool shit this, uh, this uh, two sessions here, or the two episodes. So, um, Pinwin, Calming the Beast... On the dock. Nicely done. Yes, yeah. you can have 100. Gorble for polymorphing him, you can have 100. Herstag for dropping him, you can have 100. That poor kitten. Tomar for taking control and offering yourself to the Nightmare Diamond, <laughs> like, you can have 100 oh. experience mm, points. Oh my god, that's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> Man, like, what's left? Gorble for you? chopping off Let's Finger, you can have <laughs> an initial 50 experience points. It had to be me. <laughs> um, what else do you guys deserve experience for? I tugged the bookshelf. Oh yeah, you can have uh, forty for that. And Calcifer, I tugged him. Yeah, you can have another forty for that. <laughs> I disintegrated that motherfucker. You can have forty for that. Uh. Oh, being the only one who saved. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, you were the only one alive, or not alive, but um, able to do anything. So, yeah, you can actually have 50 for that because that was a very high DC. What would have happened if you hadn't? Right. Saved? I don't know. That Probably wouldn't would be the end so of the arc. <laughs> Pinwin using Shadow to locate all the baddies. 50 yeah. experience points because that saved a lot of time. <laughs> Is Shadow still under whatever that present thing? <laughs> yeah, well... Until he was killed, then Shadow would have been. Okay, good. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. I was wondering, I guess this kind of, Oh, no, this was the last <laughs> episode. I'm sorry. Um, telling them to take the ship offshore. Yeah. Mm. 50 yeah, experience points for that. And then for the interrogation scene, you guys can all take 50 experience points. Just racking it up. For coming up with the idea to one-shot that big monster. By polymorphing. It was my idea for her to polymorph it in the first place, and I got nothing for that. Oh. Okay, you can have 50. What? <laughs> Since everybody got 50 for that. <laughs> we got 100. What about for... Talk- but I didn't actually physically do anything. That's so. true. Okay, yeah. What about for talking to Let while he was dead? Oh, no, that was really that was really, really good. You can have 50 for that. Yay. A lot of l- like cool... Things happen. You guys did utilize a lot of your skill sets that you probably don't normally utilize, but it was really good. Me trying to get help from the gnomes. Yeah, we did, and maybe just sacrificing them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, you can have you can have fifty for that because there will be effects because of that. <laughs> Are you trying not to say consequences? Now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that arc's over. That's <laughs> behind us. Yeah, there's no the consequences next arc now. Should be called Genesis. <laughs> That'd be cool. Ooh, I like it. Um, that's canon. <laughs> <laughs> I decided. <laughs> Anything else we should do out before we do the MVPC? Oh, uh, well, go ahead. Thinking to 
bring the human sacrifice to the Nightmare Diamond mm-hmm. in the first oh, place and cock blocking the yeah. lich. Man, that worked out. Colties. I didn't think that 50 experience. Yeah, that was really, really good. A lot of things would have turned out a lot differently if certain things hadn't happened. So You mean different effects? Different effects. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, let's do the MVPC. All right, guys. This one's going to be a hard one. I don't know. I'm gonna need a no. I'll give you an extra five seconds this time. So now you have eight seconds. <laughs> Think about it. This is a toughie. Think about what impressed you the most, even, if that's all. And also keep in mind, just because someone uses their BAM card, they already got experience for that, so keep that on mind. (laughs) Don't vote for Elijah. I mean, not vote for him for that. I have only won, like, once. (laughs) Also, don't try to persuade the voters. Uh, I need this. Don't say things. (laughs) (laughs) All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. Um, Not really, man. Everyone was awesome. Well... Nobody's gonna hold it against you if you don't vote for him. I'm just trying to think of one I'm just kidding. outstanding thing. All right, I've got it. Okay, on the count of three: one, two, three. Okay, so our oh no, okay. We almost did. Yep, all four again. Yep. Holy shit. Okay, what? so we've got two votes for Herstag, one vote for. Uh, Tomar and one vote for Pinwin. Why did you vote for Tomar? Pinwin. Huh? I voted for Tomar. Oh, sorry, why did you vote for <laughs> Herstag, Pinwin? I voted for Herstag because Kelsifer has been the biggest thorn in our side. He keeps coming up. We cannot kill him. And we finally know where he is and can actually potentially kill him. I already tried killing him multiple times and I'm so tired of it and I'm just excited at the prospect of being able to kill real Calcifer. So Pinwin is out for blood. Mm-hmm. Just for him, man, it's been inconvenient. He just keeps ruining all my plans. Corbo, why'd you vote for Herstag? Herstag was like in it the whole time. Mm-hmm. Um... He's going to bring back Let, <laughs> and he was really reassuring during that time, which I feel was real shitty for me. <laughs> um, also, he he took that approach in a in a way that I would not have thought to, like deciding just to find mm-hmm. out where actual Calcifer is rather than just trying to get us out of that immediate situation mm-hmm. was really fucking cool. Oh, I want to. Before I forget, you get an extra 40 experience, Gorbel, for casting Fairy Fire, which allowed him to have the advantage mm-hmm. to get mm-hmm. the killing blow. So make sure you put that in there. Um, Tomar, why did you vote for Pinwin? Pinwin had really clever ideas without any help at all. Like, they were just Pinwin's ideas. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to Let's Corpse. I'm going to try and lull this giant creature. Which ended up being a perfect that would have That probably would have been the rest of the episode had you not done that. Um, and then Pinwin's an unnecessary, unnecessarily aggressive interrogation. <laughs> As always. <laughs> now, with not with not just with the those soldiers, but also with uh, Dildane. Oh, yeah. Or Dildan in the previous episode. <laughs> so, yeah. Herstag, why did you vote for Tomar? Um... Because he basically promised himself to the Nightmare Diamond. And that dude is always, like, just sacrificing himself yeah, you're like for sacrifice. the greater good. Like, he's all about that. And that's a really nice thing to do. <laughs> like, part of using an ethereal plane, part of using a Nightmare Diamond. They're going to have to fight over me. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. making promises you're to a, all these people. Definitely like, overextending yourself. <laughs> I'm just going to fucking turn into a lich at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I keep giving pieces of my soul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, all right. Well, cool. Those are all good reasons, so everyone can each take an additional 20 experience points. But Herstag, you are tonight's MVPC. Wait, I wasn't part Woo. of that. Woo. What? I wasn't part of that. Yeah, but you voted, so take 20. I, I was really close to voting for you. 
I was really close to voting for everybody. Yeah, yeah, your body yeah, it was it was a real tough one fire. for me. We were all just really awesome. Yeah, but but you can have your your five hundred experience points there because you saved all of us. Thanks. The tipping the point cash. for me though was honestly you suggesting to bring Let back like immediately. You weren't like I don't That's know. True. I'm kind of tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, yes, I will do it. <laughs> I mean, I did say I'd have to sleep though. <laughs> Yeah, but you didn't lead with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. We are done with this arc. So next time you guys hear us, it'll be the new arc. Not a new campaign, I must specify. It'll still be the same campaign, but we're rolling into the final the final acts here Ooh. of this campaign. So stay tuned. Um, once again, shout out to Chad Piper doing the intro music, Adrian Von Ziegler doing our background music, and uh, shout out to all you listeners out there because we really appreciate and love and support. love you. And to Grace. And also make sure you donate to our Patreon, please, God, or we're going to have to sell one of Elijah's kidneys. We might have to <laughs> end the podcast before it ends. Yeah, exactly. You'll never know if you don't donate. Not if we sell one of my kidneys. Shut up. That's a last resort. <laughs> That's plan B. Resort. Yeah. You only have one left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that night we all wanted ice cream? <laughs> we didn't have enough change. <laughs> That's where that scar came from. Sorry we didn't give you any of the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. That's it. Thanks for listening to the D20 Syndicate podcast, where we go on adventures so you don't have to. Bye. 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 I'm doomed. I'm still tense as hell. <laughs> Can I save now? No, hold on. Because <laughs> uh, it took Kels for so long to look up its stats. <laughs> <laughs>